Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hey. Hello. Welcome to the one who seeks, where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? Okay. It is going to be super hot today. It's supposed to be like 108 here. <clears throat> so, um, I apologize. I do have the air conditioner on. If I turn it off, it's going to get way too hot in here for me. So, um, hopefully I can talk loud enough over this air conditioner. Okay. I just got back from vacation. I haven't done one in a while. I feel like it's been a year. It's, I know it hasn't been, but, um, it feels like it. So really wanted to get one in today. I miss you all. Hey, let's see. Let's figure out what our topic is here. time I'd like to invite in the angels of loving spirit and loving nature for me to be a clear and open channel for this collective reading. This is a timeless reading. This is for your highest good and for the good of others. Thank you all for being here. All right. So we have the month of the year. We have October. Harp great happiness and we have happiness awesome we have love and we have wreath wow we already have a strong sense of a wedding here right especially with that <laughs> that harp this harp even kind of looks like it has some sort of a I don't know if it's like a fish. Hmm, hopefully you can see that. It's really dark in here today because I have the shade closed. But there is like an animal here. I'm not sure what it is. It has a body of a fish here, but the face of almost like a dog or something like that. Dogfish. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's find out more about this love and happiness. to jump out so let me grab those okay yeah, we're not doing reversals so this is you <clears throat> all right so we have the page of cups the eight of wands the fool and the wheel of fortune Okay, we'll save this one for down here. <clears throat> Looks like you got your head in the clouds here. You know, uh, when pigs fly, 
it seems like maybe you're really in love. We got the, the hands here of making the heart. Of the pig with the wings. So um, I feel like maybe you're dream daydreaming about this other person. You're daydreaming about your wedding that could be coming up here. Um, I also kind of get a feeling of maybe you are maybe a little bit unsure because we do have the pigs here with the wings and when you say like when pigs fly it kind of means like when hell freezes over or you know something that's not ever gonna happen um, and because we have this you're like floating in the air you're not really in your mind you have this heart here you know the page is about um, the beginnings of things like it's the beginning of the relationship maybe and um, I kind of get the feeling that maybe you don't really agree with weddings or like weddings um, but you are definitely feeling this love um, you're swept off your feet and you're not really quite sure how to feel about it I think uh, you're very emotional about this you get all that <clears throat> water in the background and then we have the eight of wands which is about like coming together here right we have our our tribe we're coming together and we're getting ready for something and we're hyping ourselves up. All right, here, here, cheers, go get them with this passion and this fire. And the fool is taking a leap of faith, knowing that you're protected. Um, kind of just going out there blind. You know, you don't really care about this cliff here. And the Wheel of Fortune is about luck, risk, chance. Right? So maybe you are taking that leap of faith even though you have an attitude of when pigs fly. Okay, and this is the other person. The Knight of Wands, it's somebody who's very excited. You know, like dance like no one is watching. Justice, that's that could be a wedding card. That could be um, having to do with like contracts. Oh my God, Six of Wands. We have the reef here, which is also very symbolic of a wedding, right? And here you are, or this person is standing here. Hooray, maybe you just gotten married. And they're very excited and you have everybody here clapping for them. Okay, this could be like a twin flame as well, right? You have this reflection. You have this inner knowing. This person has this inner knowing. Ooh, that one's totally random compared to the rest. So the Six of Swords, um, maybe they're in a situation that's not so good for them right now. Maybe they're already, you know, in a relationship, but... <clears throat> Um, they're getting ready to leave. They're um, going to calmer waters here. I'm gonna make sure I get enough space here for everything. So let me push these up.
camera ends and begins here, um, even though I have a mirror to show me. But I want you guys to see the cards because you really need to be looking at the details of the cards as well to see what else that you see that I don't see, you know, that pertains to you because you take what resonates and leave the rest, right? And sometimes you will see things that I don't. Here we have the Queen of Swords. I find this one interesting all the time because it has this little thing in a cage here under this cushion. It's like an ottoman she's sitting on. I don't know if she's in the ocean or she's like on the side of like a cliff here, but it looks like there's a yo-yo in there, right? And it kind of goes with that when pigs fly. This is the relationship here. So maybe your uh, relationship is a little bit of a yo-yo. It's a little bit of back and forth, uh, a little bit of walking the dog. Okay. Hmm. So we're walking to New Horizons here. Now, you could be walking away from this relationship or walking towards it. Page of Swords. Okay, this is about learning new things. And once again, in its infancy. And the Eight of Swords. Okay, this kind of goes with this here. Where you are stuck in a prison of your own mind. Right, so when you look in the mirror, this is what you're seeing. But you are not tied up at all. Right? So you're reeling in your head about this and you're really thinking about it, about this relationship, whether or not you should walk towards it, walk away from it. You're really contemplating it. You're, you're even studying it, right? You're walking the line. This is also about like the fool um, taking a leap of faith, like don't fall. You, you have a lot of trust in this thin stick walking across this little gap of, um, of, of like a rocky edge. So you're definitely in your mind here about this. You, and, um, I don't think you're quite sure. All right. So the situation here, Uh, it looks like you just want to have fun. Right? You're not sure if that you want to be completely tied down yet. You're just, you're still having fun. You're still exploring. We have the, the page, the knight, and the queen. Wow. So this is something pretty major. Okay, and the only thing missing here is the king. So it's either you or this king here that uh, is really unsure about this and just wants to go and have fun. And since the king is missing, maybe they're the ones out running around having fun right now. Uh, but you definitely, yeah, yeah, this is them, so. I think you you might be sitting around kind of waiting for this person to finally come towards you. All right, the unseen is the coming together, seeing eye to eye. Which way are you walking? You don't know which direction to go into. waiting for this other person to finally come around. Okay, and the action that you need to take is to just take this leap of faith and um, yeah, 
I feel like it's just like kind of work on yourself, I feel like. Don't worry about this other person and what they're doing right now. Uh, just work on yourself and be in this energy of I feel really good. Uh, people are noticing me. You know, maybe this has something to do with whatever it is you're studying. You know, you're definitely working on something. You are kind of very focused here. So maybe you don't have the time for this other person right now. Because you're doing something else. Although you do have these great, wonderful feelings for them. But you are having um, all these thoughts about it. Okay, and the outcome. Wow. It's really taking a chance, right? Spinning that wheel, seeing if you're lucky. You know, maybe taking a new direction and untying yourself from this reeling in your head about it. Okay. You're moving on to calmer waters. And this could be um, within the relationship or just within yourself. Maybe it's just that you have some things that you need to deal with on your own or they need to also deal with something on their own and do a little bit of healing before we can come together for this marriage. And it, it, there's definitely a lot of love here with each other. Um, you definitely feel like you are belonging together but maybe now is just not the right time, right? And we do do have the October here. And what are we in now? We're July 2nd. So, uh, you get a few months. <clears throat> okay. And then maybe this person is going to, maybe they've already asked you to marry them. Right? I feel like maybe this is, oh, this could be you planning the wedding, right? Because we have the studying here. And figure out which direction to go into. And yeah, you know, you got to tie up loose ends, right? You got to tie everything together. And it, it can be quite frustrating at times to plan a wedding. It's, it's a lot of fun as well. It depends on what your personality is. Some people don't like that stuff at all. Some people love it. Um, so I definitely feel like you are, you guys are getting together here and planning out this wedding. And there's a lot of things that you need to study and think about and figure out which way you need to go. before October comes. All right, so let's do uh, some of this crystal. Oh yeah, I like this one. Okay, Am is Amazonite, life purpose. I am fully aligned in loving my life purpose. I am fully aligned to and loving my life purpose. So maybe this is your life purpose is coming together with this person and getting married. Shungite. Discipline. I practice the art of discipline and it brings freedom to my soul. Right? This is like that, that discipline here. 
you know, pretty much all of these down here in the relationship are about discipline. And it's bringing you freedom. All right, and that's the discipline to uh, plan this out. Okay, or payment, or payment, success. I am successful in all that I do. Okay, so this is gonna be successful. Okay, let's turn these over so we can see the stones. Right, so that was the reading for today. I wanted to make it short and sweet, and um, I definitely see some success here for you too. And uh, good luck with your wedding planning, and um, have a lot of fun with it. Okay, try not to get too trapped up here, and all all the little details that that uh, go with it, and have fun. Okay, enjoy it. All right. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.